Yeshayahu, Isaiah 23. The burden of Sor, howl ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste. So that there is no house, no entering in. From the land of Kitim, it is revealed to them. Be still, ye inhabitants of the isle, you whom the merchants of Sidon that pass over the sea have replenished. And by great waters the seed of Sihor, the harvest of the river, is her revenue. And she is a mart of nations. Be ashamed, O Sidon, for the sea has spoken, even the strength of the sea, saying, I travail not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish up young men, nor bring up virgins. And as the report concerning Mitzrayim, so shall they be sorely pained at the report of Sor. Pass ye over to Tarshish, howl, ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city, whose antiquity is of ancient days? Her own feet shall carry her afar off to sojourn. Who has taken this counsel against Sor, the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? Yahuwah Savaoth has purposed it to stain the pride of all glory and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. Pass through your land as a river, O daughter of Tarshish. There is no more strength. He stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdoms. Yahuwah has given a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, You shall no more rejoice, O oppressed virgin, daughter of Sidon. Arise. Pass over to Ketim, there also shall you have no rest. Behold, the land of the Kajdim, this people was not, till Ashur founded it for them that dwell in the wilderness. They set up the towers thereof, they raised up the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Howl, ye ships of Tarshish! or your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day that Sor shall be forgotten seventy years according to the days of one king. After the end of seventy years shall Sor sing as a harlot. Take a harp, go about the city, you harlot that has been forgotten, Take sweet melody, sing many songs, that you may be remembered. And it shall come to pass, after the end of seventy years, that Yahuwah will visit Ethsor, and she shall turn to her hire, and shall commit fornication with Eth all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to Yahuwah, it shall not be treasured nor laid up. For her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before Yahuwah to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. <laughs>